Is Red Dead dead? Red Dead dead. That's so hard to say. Every day we get comments on our videos and even in the live streams, people saying, why are you playing this dead game? Or Red Dead's so dead. But on the other hand, we have tons of people in the live streams, on the comments, views that we get on the channel that people love this game and enjoy it to its fullest. So is Red Dead actually dead? That's the question we have today. I dropped a poll over on our YouTube channel and I asked one question. Is Red Dead Online dead? I did ask if you answer yes or no, please comment with what makes you feel this way. So I wanted to actually understand from people that say that Red Dead is dead, why they feel that way. Because I'm not sure what the meaning of the word dead game actually means. So we asked that. We got almost 6,000 votes so far in 24 hours. We're going to go through some of your guys' comments right now. Howdy Cowpoke, Austin BMX here. Thanks for checking out today's video. Hope you guys are having a great week. Today we're just gonna have a little bit of a discussion about Red Dead. You know, that awesome game that we all love and play. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash the like button. If you're new around here and YouTube said, hey, check out this video and you clicked on it, consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, just good old fashioned fun. We also have a big giveaway coming up when we hit 40,000 subscribers. Should happen in the next couple months, probably. Um, pretty big giveaway with some pretty big prizes. Yeah, I'm pointing at stuff that, if you know, you know. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Check out our live streams because that's how you get points to get your raffle tickets. It's going to be pretty awesome. Let's get right into the video, though. As we stated earlier, we had a poll that we dropped on the channel right here. Asked, is Red Dead dead? And we had over almost 6,000 votes so far. Almost 6,000. And the results are about what we probably thought. 53% say no, 47% say yes. So we'll just call it 50-50. So half the people that voted said Red Dead is dead. Other part of that question I asked was, what does it mean? Why did you answer yes or no? What does it mean to you if you answered yes, Red Dead Online is dead? And unfortunately, out of the 627 comments that we got, even though the voting was 50-50, 85% of the comments are people that say that Red Dead is not dead. So I'm not sure why everyone says the game is dead and then they don't have a reason for it and they didn't comment. So if you guys have a reason and you're watching this video why it's dead and you didn't comment before, Make sure to drop it down below because we'd love to uh, learn more. That's what we're all doing here is having a discussion. There's a lot of people in the Red Dead community around different platforms that say Red Dead is dead for lots of different reasons. Um, main reason would be is because lack of updates. So let's get into that first. Red Dead does have a lack of updates compared to what? That's my question. It really doesn't. Red Dead's have quite a lot of updates since it got dropped. It got dropped in December, November. Late November, yeah. The first part, late, late November. Like, it was after Thanksgiving. Like, 2018. Whew, right? It's a long freaking time ago. It's been around for quite a while. Going on three years now. Well, we're getting there, right? We're getting to three years. Going on three years. Had quite a lot of updates, as I said. We had lots of updates in beta, fixing a few things here and there. Then Frontier Pursuits dropped in September of 2019. Pretty big update there. Uh, we didn't get a... We got another update really quickly after that in December. And then we didn't get anything at all in this game until the Naturalist update, which came seven months later. It was a pretty dead time in uh, 2020. Still lots of people playing the game, of course, like always. Still lots of people playing. And then we had to wait again. And we got something in November. Now, the updates weren't 
always the best that we wanted, but we got updates. So let's look at some other games that we all like to play. Let's look at GTA. That's the that's the closest, not the closest comparison to Red Dead because you know it's way different. But it is a Rockstar game. I'm not too into GTA, so I don't know specifically exactly everything, but we're just making a general comparison. The two uh, major updates that I know GTA's had fairly recently, uh, since I got into Red Dead and started playing GTA a little bit with some friends, I know GTA had major casino update, right? There was a heist involved with it, the casino dropped in the game, pretty awesome, pretty much like a new role, right? Then, I don't think they got any major updates after that, really, maybe some small little game mode changes and things like that, and then they got the the new island heist, right? The new island heist. So that's the two major things we're gonna talk about. If we look at those two, as a new player in GTA, or even as an old player, I'd like anybody that, that is watching this video, if you guys play GTA at all, and uh, we're super excited for that new heist because we jumped over on Twitch. GTA is still always top game being streamed. Number one, if not in the top five, if nothing new is coming out. So I went over there and I took a look. Thousands of people streaming it. Tens of thousands of people watching that game. Nobody at all was doing any of the new content, any of those two things. No one was doing the casino heist, you know? It's old, no one wants to do it, they've done it already. Nobody was doing the, the island heist, I can't even pronounce the name of it, Carlo, Car, Cario Perario, I'm not sure. I'll, yeah, the, the, the island heist, you know, with the submarine and whatnot. Nobody scrolled through dozens and dozens of streams, nobody doing it. So why am I, why am I talking about that? Well, in a lot of our comments over here, from Red Dead, people are saying the game is dead because it has no content. Because I've done it already. It's pretty much like every single other game out there. I have numerous games currently right here on my PlayStation 5 that I've played that have no new content, no new updates. I still jump in and play them every once in a while. Does that mean the game is dead? That's the question. Does that mean the game is dead? So as we take a look at Rockstar's track record with Red Dead, we've got a big role. We won't even talk about beta times. There was lots of different updates, fixes and stuff. We'll start with Frontier Pursuits. Frontier Pursuits, we had three new roles added. Two months later, we had another role. Then seven months later, we had uh, the Naturalist role. And then, what is that, six months? Can I do some quick math? Yeah, six months later, we had the Bounty Hunter expansion. And now we haven't had anything anymore for a while and everyone says that the game is dead. We're looking to probably get an update same time we did in 2020. Hopefully it's a little sooner than late July. Hopefully it's like early midsummer, but that's the track record of Rockstar, right? Get an update late fall. If we talk about the beginning of the year, an update in summer and an update at the end of the year. That's usually what they always do. Even with GTA, they only get a couple updates a year. I don't think GTA has got anything since the the Cario Perero heist, right? And that was the same time the Bounty Hunter expansion. Of course, GTA definitely gets more, right? GTA has been around longer, makes Rockstar more money. They're gonna get bigger content, but that doesn't mean that Red Dead is dead. Anytime we jump into Red Dead, game's full of players. Showdowns are full of players. We could jump into any lobby, lots of players running around. All my lobbies are always full. There's always people in this game that enjoy playing it. Any game that you play for an extended amount of time, more than just playing through a story, more than just enjoying the content that was actually dropped when the game was dropped, is going to have some slow times. Definitely does not mean that that game is dead. Games only die when people just forget about them, don't play them. There's a game that came out very recently that flopped. I would say right now that game probably is dead because we're everyone's waiting for it to get fixed. Now when it gets fixed, it may get revived. Hopefully it does. I'm very excited for it. But that game definitely is dead. So again, what does it mean and why does everybody say that? 
It could just mean that you're bored of the game, which happens. Like we mentioned earlier, tons of games on our console right now that I've played. Maybe I'll jump in when I feel like it at some point and play it, but that's really not the way I'm feeling right now. That's totally fine. Red Dead's going to be that way no matter what for a vast majority of the players for years to come. Even people that play GTA, when I first got into GTA, group that I play with, all my friends and everything were playing it like crazy. I don't think they've played it very much in quite a while. I mean, I don't think at all, really. That doesn't mean the game is dead to them either or anybody. They just don't feel like playing that game right now. And maybe if there's some new content that comes out, maybe they'll jump in and check it out. So that's all we're saying here is just because a game doesn't have new content every single month, every single couple months, still alive. There's still a vast majority of people out there that love playing the game. Our Discord's always full of people that love playing it. And with that said, let's jump over to the comments because I'd really like to see what some of the people that said that the game was dead is all about. First up, we got Simlex Dylan here. Simlex Dylan says, yes, months between new content. And then when we, the content comes, it's about the lamest stuff Rockstar can do. They are doing the bare minimum while I see YouTubers like yourself carrying this online experience on their back. This is my favorite game and the only game I've played religiously over the course of two years. But I can't for the life of me understand why one of the best developers drops the ball. I have a good job and I would spend a ton of money on gold to avoid the grind if they made content, clothing, or accessories that were actually worth it. Yeah. So that's, that's the majority of what we're seeing everyone's saying. They're saying the game is dead because Rockstar neglects it. And I agree with that. I agree with the fact that Rockstar doesn't necessarily neglect Red Dead, but they definitely don't let the player base know that they still have any care to it. As I mentioned, Rockstar puts out updates about twice a year, and we've gotten that religiously, religiously, re, yeah, religiously. We've got that mostly all the time <laughs> with Red Dead, with all the updates that we've gotten. And actually, we've even gotten more in 2021 than we were expecting. We got Outlaw Pass number five, which came in the middle of update time. Usually, we only got Outlaw Passes during update drops, and we got more. Rockstar has never implemented anything like these passes before. They've never been in GTA. GTA doesn't get passes like this at all. GTA just gets stuff that you can grind and spend your money on. Let's jump back over to another comment. We have one from Awan Wavy. At Awan Wavy says, I want to say yes, but at the same time, I believe Rockstar is planning something big for it. We have to remember that the game took eight years to create, to let it die at this point, is like saying, I don't care about eight years that passed. It's eight years. That's not peanuts. I think they're saving RDR2 for the long run. That is very true. And they've actually mentioned that in interviews in the past. That they want Red Dead to develop slowly. They don't want players to get overwhelmed. Which is kind of bad for veteran players. But the problem with being a veteran player like myself, that has played this game since day one and absolutely loves this game, is we blow through the content so fast, right? And then we say we're bored. That in itself is a problem. I, for one, blow through content as fast as I can because I enjoy it so much. But then between content updates, I'll just play and have fun with friends. Rockstar's always said that they want to Slowly let your character develop over time within camp or moving up into other roles, expanding the bounty into like a lawman type tree. They've always said they want that to happen naturally, naturally and slowly. Reason for that is they don't want new players to get dropped into the game and be completely and utterly overwhelmed, which happens a lot in large games. Happens to me in GTA. As I mentioned, I've jumped into GTA a little bit and I have no idea what to do because there is so much stuff. That happens a lot currently with Red Dead as well. 
new players jump into this game since the standalone dropped. We've had new players on PC as well as new players all over the consoles as well. Always jump into the streams asking questions or like their first question is, what am I supposed what am I supposed to start first? What do I do? There's so much stuff to do. If you look at the content and that aspect, it's a good thing that Rockstar doesn't just keep dumping new content in the game every two months. Because then a new player would jump in, probably get pretty bored, or not too bored, but overwhelmed very quickly, and go somewhere else. Next comment we got here says Jay Compass. Jay Compass says, I voted yes. I don't think it's completely dead, but Rockstar has been, has us veterans hold out hope for way too long with the game. I haven't been on for a couple months and I'm over a thousand, hundred thousand dollars and a thousand gold bars on my account without buying that time I've spent dedicated to a game of unfulfilled potential to show for it. I think it is best to move on until they decide to completely revamp the online. I love RDO Online, but I personally picked up No Man's Sky recently, and it's awesome. I don't myself returning until they care. Don't see himself. He missed the word see. So Jay Compass, that is true, and we've mentioned that a lot. There is no game that I can think of unless you just gr like grind like crazy, except for like GTA has those dedicated fans, right? That you could play nonstop for years. Month after month after month after month, year after year after year, even Call of Duty, right? There's players that play that nonstop all the time, but Call of Duty doesn't just doesn't just drop updates. They drop a new game like every like six months or something like that, right? Which gets that new player something more to grind for, right? The only thing I ever do in Call of Duty, I buy, I've bought all of them over the last couple of years. I barely even play it, but I like that grind at the beginning. I like jumping in in that grind at the very beginning. And I grind up my weapons, get some XP, maybe rank up a few things, and then I kind of die off and don't play. I play every once in a while. It's the same thing with Red Dead as well. It's always good to have that goal to go for. And that's just what Rockstar wants to implement into Red Dead. Every few months, have something to work for. Once you get done with it, have some fun with your friends or go play something else, hang out. It's really hard to play a game non-stop forever next up we have Michaela Fox she says dead no neglected hell yeah exactly what we've been talking about Rockstar seems to have two online children GTA and RDO GTA is a flashy child great at sports and popular with almost everyone <laughs> however GTA is spoiled and denied just about nothing that is very true RDO is neglected fed scraps and told that a good boy just go just so rockstar can feel good about itself and go back to lavishing praise and attention and gifts in gta what rockstar so foolishly doesn't understand is that they could get as much money from rdo crowd as they do from gta crowd if they showed a fraction of the cars and attention it gives gta a fraction of the cars and attention i know i'm preaching to the choir here i wish i just wish rockstar would have should add attention Perivial service once in a while. That's very true. GTA has been around for a while. It's not just Rockstar's baby, but it's their easy path, right? Rockstar's been dumping content. They know it works in GTA. They know how the path goes. They can easily, with their eyes closed, create an update or a drip feed content that they know would be well perceived because they know exactly where that road is going, where it's been, and where it needs to go. Red Dead's still pretty young in the aspects of that. Rockstar most likely is still trying to figure out the path of Red Dead Online. Of course, the players, we definitely know what we want. We definitely won't know the path we want to take. To implement, though, Rockstar definitely should let us know what their plans are. The biggest thing we've always talked about for Rockstar is good old communication. Communication's never been great, never been on their high end. Every once in a while, their support page will drop something or every once in a while, we'll get like a little treat of what's coming up. But as far as a path going for what other games drop, we don't have it. We're not going to have it. We'll probably never see anything like that. We're going to end the comments here with Rally from the North says yes, because stupid bonuses over and over again. Not a single new cosmetic coats or boots. 
Discounts on weapons, which I already own since 2019. They would give all players who have all weapons at least one or two vouchers for medals on weapons, and so on. But most of all, it's no communication. With us players, not even a message about a roadmap, nothing. Other companies are releasing roadmaps or at least communicate with other players. But Rockstar, nada, zero. The one last thing, they also don't offer any events. Look at Fallout 76, look at Hunt, Showdown, Rocket League, Fall Guys, and so on and so on. We all know Bethesda bug company, but a big but, they give us a uh, Sunday at least a free rabbit mask. And in RDO, we received three wild carrots. Yes, this game is dead, but I'm a fool and I play it and I rage every Tuesday. <laughs> That's good. And that's what we've noticed. People are saying the game is dead all the time. We get a few of the trolls in there that say, this game is dead. Even some of the players, you know, say, hey, this game is dead, but I'm still in there playing all the time because I, as a player, love this world. And Rockstar knows that as well. We just need to let them know that, hey, we are here. We're here to play. We're here to have fun. We want some more stuff. Let's go over his comment again real quick. He says, stupid bonus is over and over again. Not a single new cosmetic. Discounts on weapons that we already own. So that's our last question for here. I want you guys to comment your comments down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on this last particular rant. Looking at all the weekly bonuses, all of our drip feed content, the things that we get weekly, week in and week out, you know, there's only so much stuff they could give us because we're probably not going to get any new updates or any clothing unless we have a big update. And then we also have the Outlaw Passes. A lot of, lot of hate on Outlaw Pass number five and what it consists of. So what I ask you guys, down in the comments, let me know two things. If you could make your own drip feed week and you could write up your newswire, what would you give us for that week? What would be your number one go-to thing that you would give us during a drip feed week? And number two, Looking at all the outlaw passes that we've gotten, everything they consist of, you know, most of all of them are always just provisions, right? Just extra stuff that we can normally loot in the game that we get a major, major crate of. There's also some cool things for your horses. We've had horse masks, we have horse manes, we have horse mustaches. We've had a few clothing, a few outfits from story mode as well. Some of the cool new belt buckles, all kinds of emotes. I mean, the new finger flipper one is fantastic. Love it, man. Love it. If you could create your own outlaw pass, what would it consist of? What would you put in the best outlaw pass that you could create? Those two things, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you guys would do for an outlaw pass and a drip feed content. I'd really like to know. And if you want to comment as well down below, make sure to let me know if this game is dead, yes or no. And if it is dead, Please comment down below and let me know why. Because going through all the comments, really not seeing any major reasons why everyone thinks this game is dead. Although there's tons of content out there and tons of people that are just saying that nonstop. So I'd like to know. You guys let me know. With that being said, I wanted to thank our amazing community we have for Red Dead Online. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Our Discord's always popping off with players helping each other out on all platforms. You guys are amazing. If you guys haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. If you saw this video and you've gotten this far into it, probably would have a lot of fun over here on the channel. We love this game, love to have fun, love to have fun with you guys as well. As I mentioned too, we live stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, sometimes Saturdays as well. So make sure to check that out. Anytime you're in the live streams, you will gain points to go towards our raffle when we hit 40,000 subscribers. Or giving away something that's behind me. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be epic. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime. But until then, see you later. <laughs>